guys, it's Nika. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is a tutorial on these braids inspired by Kim Kardashian. <laughs> she wore them for the um, Yeezy Season 8 fashion show and I just love the braids so much. Um, I think they're so cute and I love how they kind of like give me pop smoke vibes because you know he had braids like these <laughs> so uh yeah i just i really love this style it was really easy to do so i'm going to show you guys how i did it um also don't forget please 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 to subscribe like this video leave a comment if you want to and uh yeah that is about it let's get right into the tutorial Alright you guys, I already washed my hair earlier and blow dried it and I had it in um, some braids just to keep it stretched. And then what I'm going to use, like just to sleek my hair and everything, I'm just going to use my Hicks Edges um, Edge Control. And then um, for my hair, I'm just using the Super TZ Braid. Um, like it's the hair that comes in two bundles it's already like pre-stretched pre-combed everything in the color 1b and i'm also going to do one um in the color 51 from leftover hair from my um um braid tutorial my box braid to gray box braid tutorial because i also have um this mousse for when i'm done just to sleek everything down and moisturize it and it's the olive oil um mega moisture mousse i don't know i saw this i got it because it's alcohol free and yeah alcohol really isn't good for your hair it dries it out so yeah i got this for that and and i got these cute little like rings from the beauty supply store just to decorate it these ones are like little crowns and this one's just like the standard um like rings i got them in silver because i usually wear like silver jewelry and so things and again like i said i'm gonna do my one gray braid anyway so yeah i'm gonna start off with just doing the sections of the hair so there's eight sections in total four on um each side hold on let me just use my big comb just to detangle my hair okay and i'm gonna show you guys a trick to get like a perfect middle part so you take some of your like gel wax whatever that you're gonna use and you put it in your part in the middle of your part like this and then you take your comb i love this comb because it has like the little separation for the um like to do your parts and the nice little metal rat's tail but anyway yeah and I'm just going to take this and run it down the middle and look at that look how just razor sharp that made my part on the first try so yeah so since I have the perfect part that way I'm just going to do the same thing but yeah so now that I have those parts so like I said it's going to be four parts on each side so that's why I'm doing the um, the parts first, um, just so that everything can be nice and even. Okay, so from what I can see in the photos, the first part is from, it goes to the in front of the ear. So we're just gonna, again, yeah, like, so right there. So I'm gonna start by doing my little rough part first yeah that's good but again I want it to be sharper so I'm just going to take my gel edge control whatever run it down the part just like that okay and so now I have my first what is going to be my first section. So now I'm just gonna take a black rubber band and just tie this section off. And I'm gonna come over here and make this section equal to that section. All right, y'all, so now that we have our two front sections, our second sections are going to go from that middle part 
to the back of your ear. And anytime you part, you want to try and get it in just one swift motion instead of like, um, instead of like parting like a little by little and trying to go over and fix that part, just take the comb and just go swiftly down because that way you get like as many hairs as possible in that one pass. Look at this length. Just wish this these little babies would catch up. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys I actually burnt off the entire middle of my hair with the flat iron? So that's what all of um, this is. I had a weave with some leave out. And one day, like right before I was going out, I think either I was going out or I was going to, um, to film a video. Yeah, my flat iron just went demonic on me and decided to just randomly melt my hair off so that was fun <laughs> so there is my second section on that side I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it on the other side okay so now that we're at the back sections so these two parts here you're gonna go from the crown I guess can you can you hopefully you guys can see that but like the crown of your head you're gonna go from there then go down and then in the middle you're gonna have like two little like like a pizza slice type of section so I'm gonna go in here right at my crown take the comb and in one swift motion go down Alright guys, so I went ahead and did the first braid. So this is the size I decided to do and I did them super long. They reach, excuse my pajama bottoms, but they reach all the way down to my hips, I think to my booty, which I think just looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did that. So I just clipped this other section that we did just to make sure there are no little baby hairs and we're gonna work side to side okay but just to make sure there are no little like baby hairs or stray hairs that got stuck and I'm just breaking that elastic that I put there taking my comb making sure the section is nice and detangled and then I decided since I want baby hair in my style, I um, sort of molded them out first. So I'm happy with how the baby hair turned out. So now for the actual braid part itself, you're just going to take some of your edge control and I put mine here at the root or your gel, whatever. And yeah, at the root. Of this side of the braid and the middle of the braid and I'm just gonna use my comb just to comb that through and this is one of the I guess bundles that are in the pack and so what I did is just took three small pieces about this side I just have them like strung on a chair um, next to me and that's just gonna what I'm going to use to start the braid and then as I go down I'm going to add like bigger pieces of hair as I feed in to create a bigger size braid so it's kind of easier to show than to say so yeah I just want to make sure this is nicely combed through so yeah so I'm gonna start Oh, and the braid, you want it to be closer to the front of your hair. So if you look at the picture of Kim, I'm going to insert it again. You'll see that they're not like in the center of her head. They kind of lean forward. So that's what I'm going to try to emulate. So you're going to start it like any other braid and take your three pieces. So you have your one, two... And then when you would go to pick up your own hair, that's where you're going to go in and just add in the hair under your middle finger 
So on the this side and the middle part, and then you're gonna conjoin it and braid it in. Then you're gonna take another piece. Again, put that under your middle finger. Grab it with your hair and your right hand or however you braid and boom. And now the third piece, these pieces again are all the same size because they're just what I'm using to start my braid like so. And then as I go down, I'm going to take, like I said, the hairs next to me. I'm gonna take bigger pieces and feed them into this. So this is a little bit bigger than the last piece. And every time you go to pick up new hair, that's when you're going to add some more hair. I hope this is making sense to you guys. So you see my braid is already getting bigger now. Because now I'm adding bigger pieces of hair to make it bigger. And you want to make sure, like I said, that you add hair after every time that you're going, you would like switch. So you would pick up more hair so that it's seamless. Because if there's any part that you skip, you'll see like your braid sort of ends up having a gap. So here, I'm happy with this size. So I'm going to continue to braid this down. And now here, we're good with the girth. So now we're going to add length. So I like this thickness. So I'm going to braid down. I'm backing up so you guys can see. So I'm, now I'm braiding down until I get, so you see there's like not much hair left. So now because we like this size and we just want length, we're gonna go back to adding hair but we're gonna add smaller pieces of hair. And what this is gonna do, it's not gonna make the end of the braid too big but it's gonna add that length that we want. And you wanna make sure to braid all the way to your end. Those are two of my braids done. And now for this one, since we don't have like baby hair on the side, we are gonna put gel on the entire perimeter of this one. And again, I'm just taking my comb breaking that edge control through and on your final comb before you start braiding you want to sort of mold the hair into place so like I said we're going to be braiding towards the front of the braid so of the part I mean so you want to make sure that that's the way that you're combing sometimes your hair gets a little tangled you want to just Rake your hands through it. Okay, just always making sure you're holding it tight with one hand. And when you do this style, you want to try to not borrow from the other side. So I know you know, like sometimes you go down, one side has less hair, so you'll want to borrow. It's better to just feed a piece of hair in. Alright, y'all. So I braid it down to the end of that one. And shake you or whatever. All right, so I think you guys kind of get the gist of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones, and I will come back when I get to the back to show you guys the back. All right, you guys, I freaking dropped my entire setup. So hopefully, let me see. Yeah, hopefully everything still looks good. But look, this is how far I have gotten with the braid so it's been about an hour i would say so that's 
pretty nice so I wanted to show you guys um, the back because the back's a little bit different so if you remember for the front we were braiding the braids like towards the front so for the back I feel like this one will be easier to see because it is the one gray one that I always do so yeah so I'm starting off by taking three pieces of my hair like this I really hope you guys can see and I'm starting to braid it and now here I'm actually going to start off by taking um, a black piece black pieces first so there's three smaller sized black pieces now you see my section of gray is thicker than the black section that I had and it's just a little bit thicker so I'm gonna go under that boom next piece is about the same size as that last one and you're gonna just feed it in okay. now that I'm at the girth that I want I can go into adding smaller pieces of gray now that we're no longer at the part that is like stuck to our head we can start braiding coming towards the front if it's getting too long and you're running out of hand or braid you can just do this and i'll just make it shorter for you but yeah so now the braids are all done i'm just gonna spin around again to show you guys Now that the braids are all done, we must seal the ends and also to make them, see how they're like kind of stiff, they have no movement. So you have to boil some water. I have some boiling on the stove and I'm going to pour it into a pitcher so I can dip my hair in. Hopefully you can see me. I have my pitcher of boiling water here and a towel. Now make sure you have help if this is the first time that you are doing this okay do not go do this by yourself and then get burned because i got burned before it ain't fun okay anyway you're just going to take your braids and just dump them in there and leave it for like 30 seconds just so the steam can sort of work its way up there And I'm just gonna take your towel, wrap it around, hold it tight, and press the water out as you drag the braid up. Ooh. And again, be very careful because it's hot. Even the towel gets hot. But I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully I don't look too crazy. But yeah. You see how now this has movement. It's nice and loose. Versus these are like kind of stiff. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead now. And dip these ones in. And we're young. So. The ends are now dipped in water. They're nice and smooth. You can go in and trim off if anything is too long or like sometimes you get little scragglies so I just go in and trim those off okay and then now for this top part because again we want it to lay as flat and as smooth as possible I'm just gonna shake up my mousse and you're gonna put some of it into your hand your mousse, your foam, whatever you yeah, like, your mousse. And you're just gonna put that all over the top of your braids. Ooh, I love this part, it feels so good. It's so moisturizing. If you don't have a scarf or a drag, 
you can go ahead and just blow dry it off but because I do to make it look extra smooth I take my do-rag this one I got from the beauty supply store it's velvet okay and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer okay. I think that was good so you can go ahead Take this off and boom. Look how gorgeous these are, you guys. And if you have a dryer at home, you can always just sit under that like a hooded dryer instead of hand drying them. But ah, I love them. <laughs> I think they're so cute. Alright you guys, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I forgot to say in the video that I did end up adding the two little um, silver rings or yeah, so, some silver rings to two little braids in the front um, just for you know that extra cute pop and yeah, I love these braids so much. I think they're so cute and really easy to do. I hope you guys recreate it. If you do, feel free to tag me on Instagram at the real Nika D and don't forget to follow me. <laughs> um, again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have any. All the products and everything will be down below. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.